Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So today I'm doing a, a watercolor landscape, impressionist watercolor landscape. Um, you can see at the moment I'm using a hake brush and I'm just, sort of, if you like, painting the paper with uh, clean water or cleanish water. Um, the colors that I'm using in the sky include, I think it's ultramarine blue, there's also a bit of turquoise and a bit of purple going in there as well. At the time of recording, this is um, for me Monday morning. And it's a very typical November Monday morning. It's very misty. It's raining. It has been raining since I think Saturday afternoon, pretty much. Uh, constantly raining. So I wanted to paint something that was a bit more sort of uh, summer themed, um, brighter color. Remind me that the whole autumn and winter doesn't last forever. Spring will be here soon again. I'm not a huge fan of winter. Um, at this point, I'm just wiping off a bit of sort of cleaning up that horizon line and also mopping up a bit of the water from the bottom half of the page because the board the paper is taped onto a board that's sitting vertically it's maybe not immediately obvious from the camera angle but it is vertical and so the water that i painted onto the top half of the paper some of that of course is going to soak into the paper but some of it's also going to run down the paper and I don't want the bottom half of the paper to be too wet when I start putting on paint. Otherwise, that will just all run down the paper as well. So the sky was done with a hake brush. Um, the rest of the painting is done with this smaller mop brush. The way I try and do these landscapes, so I put in a horizon line once I've got the sky done. And then the foreground I try to put in, or at least suggest or imply some detail in the foreground. So you can see that the paint is quite patchy. It's not large solid blocks of color. And mixing in yellows and greens and blues and purples. And then the middle ground, it's more, it's not completely just one color, but it is a bit more solid one color. And then the background is really just a cadmium yellow. Now you get a bit of green because the cadmium yellow is next to the ultramarine blue. And because the paper's still damp, you'll get a bit of mixing, a bit of blending happening so that's where you're getting the greens from that's fine but i say if you put some sort of implied detail in the foreground less detail in the middle ground and then the background's just sort of the cadmium yellow mixing with the blue it gives a bit of a sense of depth to the painting It's basically just linear perspective. You know, we can see details in the foreground, but as things go into the middle and background, they all just sort of merge together. Our eyes cannot resolve small details uh, at distance. So then, as you see in the middle ground, I'm using the cadmium yellow and I'm, I use uh, watercolor in tubes rather than pans. So I just squeeze a bit of the color out onto the palette and then just pick it up with a, a dryish brush and just dab it onto the paper. It just creates an impression of detail. And this is an impressionist painting. It's not a, a naturalist painting I'm not going for. Um, sort of naturalist style of values and things like that completely different. Some of my ideas about Impressionism, I sort of tried to express them in the video 
a few weeks ago. Um, I think it's called De Defending Impressionism. But really, my goal in these paintings, as I said, is to create a, a bright, um, sort of summer-like painting, something that would lift my mood and maybe lift other people's mood, especially in the depths of winter when it's cold and gray and raining. My goal is not a naturalistic sort of style of painting where the goal is to create a realistic rendition of nature. That's not my goal. It is impressionism, not um, realism or naturalism. I haven't been doing as much watercolour painting um, in the last couple of weeks, <clears throat> mainly because uh, starting to run low again on watercolour paper. And I try to limit myself, um, you know, from buying too much of this. It's so expensive. So I'm doing some other kinds of art, um, besides which I want to try and you know, do other work with other mediums as well. So last video before this one was um, a pencil landscape. If the scheduling's right, this video will be released on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, I have another pencil landscape that I want to create a video for. And then there'll also be another video on Saturday. I'm not 100% sure what that will be yet. I want to try and do a soft pastel um, landscape. <clears throat> I haven't done any soft pastel sort of drawing painting for a long time. So it really depends on how, um, how bad it turns out, whether or not I want to put it on YouTube. Okay, this is pretty much the final painting then. I say I wanted something that was bright, sort of summer-like, and I'm happy with the result. I think it achieved what I wanted to achieve. I like the sky, I like the bright yellow, and the little bit of blue horizon. Okay, if you'd like to subscribe, just click on the big red button below, and hopefully see you in the next video.